Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Savage here with another deck, and it's uh, this one is a drum druid. But doom. Oh my goodness. Uh, I had some pretty epic games today with this really fun deck. My score overall, I've only had 52% win rate in High Legend. 14 wins, 13 losses, but I feel like there was a bunch of games that I could have won more. So we could have had like 17 and 10 or something like that. I'm pretty sure. G added thanks for three months. So what are we doing here? We want to do the Trump Circles. That is the key card. Uh, I guess aggro it can be like if we are not too low on health that usually shuts them down and the game is over You'd go for the flower child. We have a timber tambourines of course for the five fives Okay, so okay, let's go back there So in a perfect world like we play instrument and then we play the instrument tech on two and then like timber tambourine on four Okay, we attack with it turn five flower child attack with tambourine again and then turn six We play like green thumb attack with weapon get three five fives Play a drum circle that costs six mana because flower child uh, discounted it. So, so yeah. Then sometimes if you have the extra mana there, you can also do like living roots first for extra dudes. But yeah, you can make a gigantic board on turn six. Uh, that is the goal of the deck. That's what we're trying to do. We are trying to make a big board on turn six if possible. It obviously doesn't always play out like that, but yeah. I'll show a few cards here. We have Sir Finley. Demolition Renovator, Jailer. This is honestly like a little like, I don't know if we should be playing ETC, but the Renovator had its moment. Sometimes we destroy an important location. Finley is for if the hand is really bad, and Jailer is if we run out of cards, if you're playing against like Control Priest. Sometimes against Priest, like there was a pretty epic game. Oh my god, did I. Is it gonna be on this video? Um, against the Priest that we uh, we won in uh, in Fatigue. Um, it's, it's not gonna be, I remember now. Yeah, it's, it didn't make the cut. But yeah, pretty epic uh, stuff. So Taylor can be strong. I mean, even against Blood DK, sometimes if they um, if the board clears are gone with the Soul Stealers and stuff, you can do that and then you just win. Queen Ashara, you usually get Ring of Tides, but you, you should be stay flexible with your Queen of Ashara choice. Ring of Tides is very good with Trump Circle, because if you have a 6-mana Trump Circle and you have a Ring of Tides, make 5 2 twos, and then you can use the 1-mana Ring of Tides to buff them on the same turn. So you can, you can go Trump Circle for 3 ants, and then you can go Trump Circle for, for uh, dudes, uh, for buffs for the, on the dudes. And then we have Kiri of the Chosen, Solar Eclipse, Lunar Eclipse. Uh, the Solar Eclipse is very good also with, uh, with Queen Ashara. Uh, if you have Kiri, uh, you can get the Solar Eclipse, and, uh, and then you pick the the Colossal one, and then you get two Colossals. So if you play Queen Ashara on turn 5, you pick the Colossal, then you go Solar Eclipse into the Horn, and you get two Colossals, and then you still have one mana, you can play the better one. So yeah, Timber Tambourine, 6 damage, and make lots of 5-5, five, five. spread the word, obviously easy to use. Rake is your most important early game card against, uh, this is important, against aggressive decks, okay? If you have Rake, that can, you can even kill two minions with this sometimes. Because you can kill one with the deal two damage and another one by hitting them. Very, very important card. Remember the combo with the spread the word if you can. And we've got the Groovy Cats, we got the Pipers. You, normally you, you draw with the Pipers. There might be special situations where you're like low health. So you might want to try to get like some kind of armor thing or lifesteal or and you discover a beast. But almost always you, you draw, for, draw with this and just get those buffs on the hero power. So you have those like uh, filler, t filler turns when you have that two extra mana. And uh, also in long games, of course, if you get your hero power to plus five, you can just keep hammering away and kind of like that's a definitely like good good way to win as well. Living roots, usually you squeeze it in with the drum circle and then you buff the one ones, but it, it is a solid removal on, on turn one as well. If your opponent plays uh, plays the arms dealer, that is so scary in like every undead deck. This card is, is all over the place in every other deck, so. So, uh, yeah, don't be afraid to use the living roots on this, but that's pretty much it. Astor is just generally a really good card. Um, it's a solid deck. Summer Flower Child, keep one in the starting and don't keep two. I, I tried keeping two and then I top decked Trum Circle in the Trum Circle and one of the true Flower Childs was dead, so that was a bad experience. But one is definitely a 100% keep. You keep one of these. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the games. Maybe not tier S deck, but absolutely works. If you want to try it out something fresh, this is absolutely viable. It works in Legend. I imagine this deck can be much, much stronger if you're still in like maybe Diamond or there's definitely a lot of potential. You can you can definitely hit Legend with this if you if it looks like a deck that you want to play. Alright, let's get into the games. Look like a cool warlock deck. I mean I've played a lot of decks like that. Sure, I mean it's it's okay in coolness. It's, it's a it's a high roll deck. 
Which means when you get the good draw, the deck is really good, and when you get the bad draw, the deck is really bad. It is very inconsistent. This deck feels solid. Yeah, this is a good deck, guys. This is th the one that I'm playing. This is a good deck. Definitely works, my dudes. Step back now. This is a good draw as well. Copium! Copium, my friends! Copium! Step back now! Stay back! Stay back, chat. The more you strut out, the better. We all exist. Do we have a hit there, guys? Here, I don't think so. Step back now. I don't really care about it. I don't care about the hell on it. It is our time to step out of the shadow. Bo okay, no location, so the dimension will be pretty mid, even if he has it. Who's hiding now? I think we're doing good right now. If three rights make a left. Demon DH hunting. That is fine. Should we do the living roots? Oh man. I guess so! Because they have 4 health, so they don't even die to their clear. So it's gonna be this. 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 There we go. And that's the combo. Against like a. Like acro decks and like all kinds of board clear less decks, that's game over. That's checkmate turn 6. Who here can spell? Demon Hunter, I mean, it's really hard for Demon Hunter too, because he would need the spell power and multiple fell unleashes, I think. Who would win this combo or one board clearing boy? It depends. Board clear need to be drawn early. Pick me, pick me! Ay 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 beam. Doesn't help enough. Get more buffs here. So he's actually dead, it's just hero bar, but let's do this. This is more fun. I think he was, because we have 28 plus 3. Yeah. Demon Hunt Joy. I mean, this is an early Queen of Shara. Wow, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking. Um, If we get the attack one, we could keep the spread of the word too. Okay, alright, let's let's see what happens. I don't know about this Monlican. I'm trying to get the 2 1 with the Kyves attack. Keep queen? Yeah, I'm on the coin, so that makes that queen a lot better. Okay, we did get the groovy cat. Feel the groove! Well, that might be a game changer. We're gonna go for the tambourine instead. Go in the boreen. So we want the we want the one mana like a uh, copy a spell from Queen so we can do the double double drum circle. Mm, but I still have an extra spell. Oh. Can you explain the gods? Yeah, the jailer is for like some control so we don't run out of gas. And Finley is if the hand sucks and Renovator is for this, like if they have relic bolts. Now. Hmm. The more you I mean, I think we make the five fives and then just hope we can clear. I, I think we make the five fives chat. I think it's that simple. I don't want to delay it by a turn. Or do we just win if I delay? So if I delay, it would be the flower child now, right? And then next time it would be like green thumb, green thumb, drum circle. 
Is it worth it or not? So if I do it now, we get... We only get a couple, actually. Maybe I am supposed to wait. The Queen of Sara won't, won't work. I mean, I could go green thumb into flower oh, yeah. child. And then three, five. Okay, let's do that. Okay. So we do have a refill, so this is the correct play. This is 100% correct. Because even if he clears, we can do it again. Yeah, this is the right move. If he goes for like dimensions, he might just be dead if he misses. Okay. But one unleashed spell is not enough, so he's gonna still have to make some trades and play some other spells. Him having both of them right now would be really unlikely. Okay. Oh, that's what we're doing. Okay, well, we can still kill that. Location is gone. Dimension is only a couple of gods. This isn't that bad, guys. Like, I have two more drum circles here. What? So he still ended up playing that. Okay. I did not expect to see that getting played now. Okay. There's almost no way he clears, right? I mean, I could go this and this, and then we can double drum circle next. Yeah, that's safer. Let's do that. That's way safer. Just in case. There's a two twos, like, yeah, maybe if he can clear the two twos, we're screwed. Two twos. Not my two twos. Who here can spell Zinjari? Pick me, pick me. Oh my god, dude. He's really fighting back here. Alright, well. Like, I'm not getting off easy here. Five of these. Okay. Now he plays like the eight drop, like the does all relics. We're, we're, we're done. I thought we had an easy game, but like if he has the eight drop now. Artificer. If he has like Artificer or something like that. But this, is, this turned out to be way harder than I thought with the hand that I had. Demon Hunters, shaking my SMH. S SMH, my head. All right. Oh, I got him. Wow. I have to work for that one. Okay, I'm gonna get the location destroyer from it. It easy. We'll destroy the location before before the dimension. I mean, I guess technically it could be a uh, not a relic. It could be like big or. But I'm mostly seeing big uh, relics today. I actually like playing in relic more than I like playing as the big. Because the biggest like such a scam deck, I just feel like the way it ends games, I often don't have anything that I can do. It's just like I'm I'm completely like helpless. Yeah. Okay. All I have is hero bar, but at least it's a good hero bar. How was second run one mana? It was the it was from the Queen of Shadow. So, oh my god, Kodar said, oh my, what is, what is this hand? This has to be the worst hand I've ever had. So technically, technically the leftmost card could be dimensions, then he could like coin out five mana dimension, but it would have to be exactly the leftmost, because the rightmost could like replace, I mean I guess he would top deck it too, he would top deck it, but. Security, e, e, e. The more you strut out. Nice, he didn't use the location. Get absolutely destroyed, my dude. I don't think they 
guessing it's a winning strat right now. It's a take the value trade. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? Pick me! Pick me! All right, well, those are very small. That's too much to me, so I'll use the minion. Definitely need to kill that, but. It is our time to get out of this They will never catch me. Who's hiding now? A watery grave awaits. One mana. It's not gonna do it. Sevita, I'm trying your curse look and I'm having a blast. Thanks. Oh, nice. Hey, top 1000. Oh boy, I mean, this could become anything. Like, we just we need one summer flower child and that's it. If we get one summer flower child, that's enough. But if we don't get it, it's another hand that doesn't really do that much. Or if we get Queen Ashara. That is the worst draw, because we are already getting one of those. That's awful. Are you gonna play Diablo 4? I, I probably will, yeah. I don't know if I'll stream it, though. No clue. I might stream it, I might not. I don't know. But I, I will I will try it out. So full of sin. I don't think I'm gonna use both of the rakes yet. We'll do it like this. We'll save one for like after tambourine for sure. Diablo. Do you like to play with fire? Ah, uh, I, I do have to play this. Step back now. Definitely can't. I, I know I could have killed it, but... Okay, well... The wild pyre effect was like nothing there. Okay, I don't see him like gaining anything from those burns. Um, actually probably with living roots is better. Better to use here, for sure. Save the rake still. Now. Amarion takes the nine to six. Missed you guys less than three. Miss you too. Hope you, you and the family are doing well. Team Pood packs. Okay. True strength rises from the ashes. Innervate, okay. That's good, because I can do the Queen of Shara now. Oh, we have a 
OP. So I'm gonna do the drum circle next then, so then we will have a one mana drum circle for the following turn. So Rich, you look great. Thanks. Thanks, chat. Very Alright. He can only kill one of these right now, no matter how he does it. The best play is probably to go face with the with the weapon and then like uh I actually don't know. Let's see. He could have like hit one of these three ends and then hit it with the weapon too. Like sorry, he, like Hit with the weapon first and then, then activate it. Yeah, just like. Uh, interesting. Anyway, so how much armor is this? Because we could just. We could milk it this. Like, it just go double thing is next turn. Because there's no way he kills me next turn, right? There's no way. Because I get armor too. Because he can't even play a Grom yet. And there's not enough buffs on the sword or. Don't concede, I want to do the combo! Burn away the okay. The Turn 2 Disco Mall steals a lot of matchups. Yeah, it's really strong. I don't really have that many problems with Paladin in general. I think Paladin is stronger at like lower ranks, but... Disco Mall is, a, is an individual card that's really, really strong, that's for sure. We went to phase. Oh, that's almost like giving up. Okay. Victory is yours. Woo! 52% win rate. That's pretty good. Pretty good.